A really commonly asked question is how do I create images that have this beautiful circular top but still squared at the bottom? I swear there's a name for it, but I'm fully blanking. So that's how I'll describe it. And it's really easy. So I get asked if I either make it and show it or if I make it in Canva. So let me walk you through it because I make it all and show it. And it really isn't as hard as it seems. So I am using my Rich Bitch website template built out on Show It. If you are in need of a website or you want to just start with a template to make your life incredibly easier, I've literally had clients launch in just two days. You can go to my website, boldexboho.com, and the link is also down below. So let's say I'm wanting to change this image here to look like this. What I'm going to do is change the effects over here and I'm going to click this middle option under the rounded corners and I'm going to change this radius to about 240. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little bit thinner and this also is totally preference but I think that it just looks a bit better like this. Then I'm going to drag it big so that now you can see it forming that shape up here. And now I'm going to add a rectangle. I'm going to drag the rectangle down here. Just like that. And I'll delete this so that you can fully see kind of what I'm working on. So then I'm going to line it up so that it goes straight down. Because if you do it a little bit too far down, you'll see that it starts curving. So I'm gonna do it about there, just like that. Now, obviously, I have this background color here, right? And I want this rectangle to kind of match so that it flows right into the background. So I'm gonna copy this color and I'm gonna come to the rectangle, change the color to match, just like that. Now, you can play with the size. You could always drag this down and drag that down so that it's a little bit longer. You can move now it all around like that. But that took just, you know, a, f a minute. <laughs> so now, to do the same thing on mobile, you can, of course, go to mobile and basically just mimic it. Or you can change out the layout mobile to scaled and then it copies over the settings directly and then you would just need to change out the text. I think if your text is already sized, you can of course just do the image so that everything else stays the same. You can go here onto desktop and click command C and then shift command V and do this special copy paste, which there will be a whole video just on that but you see how fast that just copied over those settings and then do the same thing for the box and shift command V. And then I'd probably just delete these little things and there you go. So super simple. I absolutely love what this does to a web page, especially on the home page. I've been so obsessed with this definitely a trend for 2021. So I can't wait to see what you create now knowing this. If you've enjoyed this video or learned anything, make sure to subscribe and like and comment anything else that you want to learn from me about show it or web design or anything branding because that's my shit. Okay. Much love you guys. Mwah.